Let's get Google Ads remarketing on your site using Tag Manager, timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources to, of course, making this process easier, as well as getting all of your other tracking codes, pixels, and analytics events installed. Now, the first step to setting up your Google Ads remarketing tag is not inside of Tag Manager, but inside of Google Ads. And so go to your Google Ads account, click on Tools and Settings, and then you'll go to your Audience Manager. Now, if you're setting this up for the first time, you'll just go ahead and click on set up an audience. If you've already set this up in the past and you're looking for a previous code, you can click on your data sources. So if I click on set up an audience, it'll take us to your data sources anyway. So either way, you want to be on this page. So I'm going to click these little plus these three little, ugh, three little dots because it's the first time we're setting this up. So we'll go ahead and click on edit source here or this would be the process that you go through for creating a new tag. And you're going to collect general website information. You can get more advanced, you can click learn more if this is really going to be helpful to you. Nine out of 10 new businesses don't really need this though. So we'll go ahead and only collect website, um, general website data. And then if you want to turn on restricted processing, you can. I recommend just leaving this blank. This is just California messing with us, right? So just go ahead and leave it alone. Unless you know for a fact like no one in California buys your stuff, then, then of course go ahead and, and turn that on so you can actually start gathering a little more information. And then for advanced settings, you can go ahead and leave this alone. We'll go and click on save and continue. And we'll go ahead and say we're going to use Tag Manager. So all we need is this conversion ID. Oh, not selecting everything there. We'll go ahead and copy our conversion ID. I'll save it to our Tag Manager playbook here. Save it to whatever documentation you want to use for easy reference in the future. And then of course we can go ahead and click on continue and select done. And with that, our data source is ready to go. And of course you can come back here later and start creating custom audiences based upon how people interacted with your site. But as long as you see that there is a Google Ads tag that has been created, of course, the issue being we haven't installed it yet, you can head back over to Tag Manager to install your code. So inside of Tag Manager, of course, you can go to Tags and see all the tags you have set up and click on New, or from our overview, we can just click on Add New Tag. And we'll need to, of course, configure our tag. So for our tag configuration, we're going to select Google Ads Remarketing. So we'll go ahead and select Google Ads Remarketing, and of course, we'll need our conversion ID. We'll go ahead and drop that in. And the conversion label is optional. If you want to add these other things, you can go ahead and do that in, a, in the future. I'm just going to grab the name that I want to use for this tag and drop that in there. So there we go. Just go ahead and name it something that makes sense to you and that's easy for you to find in the future. I, of course, always like using a four letter code to know what website I'm talking about. And then of course we'll click on triggers here and we'll select all pages because we want our remarketing to fire across all our pages just like you would do with the Facebook pixel and your Google Analytics tags. So we'll go ahead and click on save here and you'll see that we have a workspace change. Of course it's blurred out because it has my email plastered all over the place. I made the mistake in some previous videos and boy do you get a lot of spam when you just share your email willy nilly on YouTube. So once you have this, we're ready to submit. So we'll go ahead and click on submit here. We'll just go ahead and give it a brief description of what we did. And I'll just be OCD and put all the information in here. And you just want something basic. So when someone like yourself comes back in a year or two, you're not gonna remember that you did this. At least you have a pretty good documentation of how your containers changed. So we'll go ahead and click on publish. We'll skip the singing part as always, because nobody needs to hear me say that. And then you can come down here and you can see all of the tags that have just been added. And then of course, all the tags that are already on your site. And sorry for the terrible cut. I got way, way ahead of myself and completely forgot to talk about conversion linker. So anytime you've added your remarketing tag or you're setting up your conversion tags for Google ads, you're going to want to add conversion linker. So you'll have this little warning at the top that will tell you to add the tag, or you can go ahead and add it manually. So I'll go ahead and add it manually so you can see how to do it if this doesn't show up for you. So all you need to do is click on add a new tag, and we'll just call this Google Ads Conversion Linker. And for our tag configuration, 
we are just going to be able to click on Conversion Linker, and this just helps with Google collecting data and sending it back to your Google Ads account. So there's nothing special you need to set up here. Triggering, you're going to set it to all pages, and then you'll go ahead and click on Save. So I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to remember it. And of course, we'll have one workspace change. So we'll go ahead and submit. We'll say this is a conversion linker. Click on Publish. Of course, always skip the singing. And with that, we are good to go. So if we come back to our workspace changes, we're all set and that notification will most likely have gone away. So with that, it should be on your site. It should be working correctly, but let's go ahead and verify that it actually is. So to do that, we'll come over here to our preview. And then of course, we'll open up preview mode. We already have our website URL dropped in here. We'll go and click on connect. It'll open up a new tab, letting us know that debugging mode is on. So we can jump back over to tag assistant here. And you'll see that our Google ads remarketing tag fired when the page loaded. And so inside of debugging mode, you can go ahead, this is a demo website, so it's just literally one page on WordPress. But if you had other pages, you could actually start clicking through and you'd be able to see the click flow inside here and see how your different tags are firing. But with remarketing tags, you just wanna make sure they're firing on all pages, right? And of course, you can always click in here and you'll see more information and details. And this, of course, will be helpful when you get more advanced but I'll go ahead and click on the X to stop debugging. And then I can just leave the tag assistant uh, preview mode here. And with that, your Google Ads remarketing tag is on your site, ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, your Google Ads tag is on your site, ready to go. You also want to set up something called a conversion linker. If you jump back into Tag Manager here, you can just click on add tag and you'll go through the exact same process. It'll just help Google collect better information about the people visiting your site. So make sure you check out that link in the description to grab a copy of our Tag Manager playbook to help with this and all of your other tag setups and triggers and events, as well as a link to a super deep dive video that goes through all of the different tags and triggers and pixels that you should be adding to your site. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.